Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper fortune teller. So first you're going to need scissors, pen or pencil, depends, some paper, and Twinkies if you need them. Well, first what you're going to do is take your piece of paper, you're going to fold it all the way to the end. I like to do this one. And make sure that it's all tight up. Sometimes I have to do it this way because um, I get it offline. It's very hard. Well, not that hard, but it's hard. So then you creep. And then you see this. You fold it back. You take your scissors over here. Okay, so now you're going to have to flip it around so you can see this right here. And we're going to cut, but be careful because scissors are sharp. You might want parental guidance when you're doing scissors if you're little. Just cut it. Just cut it. This right Cut, cut, cut. Cut, 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 cut. Now, after you're done, you'll see that you see have a triangle. And when you open it up, you have a square. So, you are wanna, you want to have to do um, this, fold it, see this crease? I want you to fold this to the other end like this. So you have a triangle, but it has two sides like this. So you might want to do that again. Now you have like a kite shape. So then you 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 want to do this, I guess. I think I want to do this though. <laughs> so you fold it in half. So then, you fold it like this, and you fold it like this, you do it on all four sides. Hard time? Okay. So after you're done, you're going to want to flip it upside down and do the same thing. giving me a hard time. <laughs> oh wow, this is hard. It's not letting you like get the paper well. Nice. Put it like that. Now after you're done, when it looks kind of like this, I kind of messed it up. So it has to look like this, okay? So then you flip it around. You have it right here. And you'll put it in here. Over here like this. Something. You see these holes over here? I think I might have to trim them. Mine's didn't, mine didn't come out too even. It should look better, like better than this. Um, 
Now, you put your fingers through right here. I want you to It looks like this. So you're gonna have to put a couple things on it. So you see it here. You're gonna want to take your pen, pencil, colors, or anything. So you just write down the color, uh, the name, or you can uh, put the color like draw it like this. And all that. Yeah. Like this uh, with all the different colors. Okay. So I'm going to put down. The normal colors are blue, red, ugh, red, uh, pink and purple. So, I kind of messed up because I'm, you know, not so good at this. After that, you're going to have to put a couple, um, some numbers. One number here, one number here, one number here, and one number here. So, four numbers. I will do three. So after you've done the numbers, you're going to have to put down your fortunes inside here. So you write down the fortunes on the number. So say that I said somebody, for an example. So choose a color. Somebody chooses mm, blue. B L U E. Then somebody chooses uh, what number is in here? There's four and six, so they choose six. S I X. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, and then they choose another color, uh, eight. So they look in eight, and then they'll see your fortune. So, let's just put them here. Um, hmm. 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 If you have any ideas for my fortune. Not really. Yeah, actually, yeah. Because I can't think of any. But I'll put some. Bye. See you next time.